Election officials have never had to face. The number of absentee ballots cast in this election have doubled or in some cases even tripled previous records. So I was really surprised that people came out and voted early like that. Yes, I was. And getting those absentee ballots counted poses a new challenge, especially in places like Milwaukee, where they're counted in one central count location. And because of state law, the counting can't yet start. Nothing can be done until the polls open at 7 a.m. And so this is a quite, a quite a large undertaking to process those. Once the envelopes are open, the voters are assigned a number. And in Milwaukee, the ballots are then fed into high-speed counting machines. They are able to process between 1,000 and 2,000 ballots per hour once they are open. But the results of the absentee votes aren't reported until the entire count is done. So when 100% of the votes cast in person on election day are reported, that won't be the final vote total, not even close. In Milwaukee County, that won't come until hours later. We are anticipating finishing this process between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. the morning after the election. Most Wisconsin municipalities, including much of Waukesha County, will instead count their absentee ballots at the polling site and report those totals at the same time as the in-person vote. We have about 130 different tabulators that will be motoring us results through the night. Some voters will watch the count in person or online, while others say they'll just trust the process. Hey, once we put it in, it's on our hands. I mean, just pray on it. Kent joining us again. Now, are other communities expecting their absentee count to take as long as Milwaukee counties? Well, the places that do central count probably will take longer. There are 39 of those municipalities across the state, eight in Milwaukee County, several others in Waukesha County, where the clerk there also tells us to expect results sometime around 3 a.m. on Wednesday. All right, Kent, thank you. So here's what you need to know if you plan to vote. Polls are open from 7 o'clock tomorrow morning until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. If you were in line at 8, you will be allowed to vote. Masks are recommended at polling sites, but not required. You must have a photo ID to cast a ballot. If you're not registered to vote at your current address, you can still do so at the polls. Bring a proof of residence document with you like a utility bill. Make sure it has your name and current address.